Astro. No. What you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Ay, what you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that Check out how I turned this wood slice into a nice side table and I'll even show you how I inserted three different colored exotic bow ties. Now this piece has been drying for quite some time so it was ready. Then I went ahead and cleaned out the large crack that formed during drying. Now to do this, I dried the now large file. I then used a tool to knock the field. Once I had picked the bow ties I was using, I used a hot glue to put the bow ties firmly in place while I was using the bow ties that way before I found out the swap for the bow ties. It took me about three passes to round out the swap for the bow ties. I kept taking a little bit of wood out of the time, then I cleaned up all the edges with the mallet and chisel. Next, I glued the bow ties in. flake off. In this case I was hoping that the epoxy keeps it in place. I went ahead and finished the top in a natural oil. It's almost like a Danish oil. I sprayed the legs with this gold color. I'd never used this before. I attached it just using some regular wood screws and boom the table is done.
جاده یه صاف مثل دل تو الان لازم همه با تو باشم بده بول پیش هوا بارون روی شونت یه آفتاب بزنه رو گل روی گونت آخ که چقدر با تو پشتم پره راستی نگفتم چه موت خوش شد نمیدونی چقدر دوست دارم تو رو تو نمیدونی تا اومدی چه خبری شد و یه حال عجیبی با تو میفیچه تو ترم تو واسه منی حرف زنبام دست بکش تو سرم اونه که واقعی عاشقته This is a castle joint. I used it to make a bed out of concrete and wood. The majority of my castle fabrication experience comes from playing with Lego. It's quite easy to make really awesome castles out of Lego bricks, but you need a lot of them, and they can be expensive. Over the years, I've experimented with different ways to translate Lego creations into permanent materials like concrete or metal. Sure, these techniques create a nice, kitschy aesthetic. This certainly appeals to my nostalgia. But what I really find important about this process is that I have a way to precisely prototype 3D objects without sitting at a computer or dealing with the hassles of 3D printing. If you have an idea that you can make out of Lego bricks, it's not that hard to make silicone molds, and you can start a product line out of concrete, epoxy, or even metal. I enjoy my work, so I don't really make much of a distinction between toys and tools, and I hope young designers realize that you don't have to wait till you get the right professional-grade equipment to get started on experimenting and making. 